Most of Us Are Sad by the Eagles. Another one of those Eagles tunes that I love to add to the library here at Totally Guitars. I never get bored of the Eagles, I have to say. If you're a diehard fan as well, like I am, then I am sure you know this one and that you will like it there too. Sung by Randy Meissner. And it is, yes, this is from their first album, early 70s, self-titled. The Eagles, yes, four track it is. Anyway, so as you could have already seen earlier, it is not that hard to play. The, it's in the key of C, using all three major chords and all three minor chords, so that will be C, F and G. Even F is actually easier because it's like an F major 7 or an F major 9 or an F with an, an added 9 and so on. So you actually don't really need a bar, just those three fingers, leave the top string open and you already have a great sounding F major 7. You can of course make it bigger if you like, but you don't have to. You can add your little finger there on the high G giving you an added 9 there. And so that shouldn't be a problem. G, G sus4, G dominant 7, so there are little uh, little variations for those chords. Then the three minor ones, D minor, actually a D minor 7, then there's an E minor and an A minor. I break uh, all those chords down, don't worry, I will treat it this lesson as if you're a total beginner for that matter. So we go through all that. Of course the strumming. The main thing here is its swing feel, meaning that the downstrokes are like longer than the upstrokes. So they're not equally long, basically. Otherwise, you would get like this straight feel. One and two and three and one and two and three. And in this case, it's a one, two and three and one and two and three and ta 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 instead of ta 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 Speaking of the timing, the time signature is actually 12-8. So, but I break it down in groups of three. So if I would count it like, well, with 12 beats, it would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one, two, and so on. But in this case, it's easier to explain it in one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. So then it would be simply like a down, 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 down. If you can do that, you can already play, uh, yeah, work your way through the song well enough. Anyway, so t we take a look, of course, at that, go through the progression, and then, yes, if your level of playing is a little, you know, um, already more advanced, you might want to incorporate the intro there, which has uh, like a little melody running through it, starting here with a C, to D, to E, and back to D, to C, to G, A, yeah, that's what it is, and to C, and up to D there again. And those just run through the chords, so something like this, C, D, And it's a tad uh, faster, but I was kind of like, you know, playing and just kind of kept going there and then you can already see the first verse, which is of course very similar to the second one. However, so uh, we go through everything that I just mentioned, a look at both hands, of course, the chords and the strumming, but also for both hands if you want to play this little uh, melody in there, not too much, but enough uh, for 
for you to 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 uh, to get it and then we break down the progression well everything you need to know i hope you take a look at it because it's just one of those other gorgeous songs by the eagles you can never go wrong with the eagles if you ask me well check it out at totallyguitars.com <laughs> 